Well, now I feel like setting this up took a whole lot longer than the actual video will. Hey yo, Belle here, and it's time. Everything is blue. My fingers are blue. We'll talk about that later. My mug is blue. I had to find my blue mug. I got a blue shirt on. That's gotta mean something, right? So let's see what it means. Ooh, hi, hi, hi. Today, our main goal is to unbox and do a first impression of the Blue Blood palette. I'm very excited. I can't believe it's actually here. It was such a crazy thing trying to get it, and I'll even tell you the story while I'm working on it. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Let me find my... I had a knife around here somewhere. <gasps> I found it. Here it is. Awesome. See the little guy. Remember this guy? We haven't seen him for a while, but hopefully we'll be seeing him a little bit more often. Just a little bit. Let's get started. So first thing, just think. Other side. And okay, this opens like this. Ooh. Oh wow. Look at that nice blue tissue paper. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping this. Oh, oh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna do something really cool with it. I can't wait to show you guys that later. Here we got the Blue Blood palette. Make sure there's nothing else fun in here. Not much. Not much. Oh my gosh, a little postcard. So cool. With Jeffrey on it, with his wonderful little face. He's so cute. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put this right here for a little inspiration. Of course, we need that. That's it. And we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this little guy. I'm super excited, dude. I can't believe, I can't believe it. It's the first time in a long time that I've actually gotten to order one of these things. It's been pretty crazy. So it's really exciting that I finally got to have one and it's one that I really, really wanted. I had to wait. I was waiting for the one. I'm gonna get the sticker. Penny, one second. Patience. Oh. Apparently I don't have enough patience. Patience is an extremely important skill to develop. Okay. So I got it off and now I don't know what to do with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna stick it on this thing and then we'll save it for later. Let's do this. Oh boy. Wait. Oh, hey, oh, here she is. Our wonderful, our beautiful, all things. Man, this is. <coughs> Excuse me for gagging from all the things. Okay, so here we go. This is it. It's in my hands. I'm, a, I'm freaking out right now. All right, let's open up our little unit curtain. Oh gee. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna pop her out. Holy shit. I love how holy shit was my first and only reaction. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I need, need to drink some coffee. This is amazing. Oh geez. Mm. Electric Unicorn Latte by Bones Coffee and Nespresso. I made the collab myself. They don't know about it, but it's wonderful. All right, so let's open her up. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Okay, here we go, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh. Opens like a sarcophagus, honey. There you go. Nice. Oh my God, all these colors are in my hands. Holy mackerel, holy crap. Awesome, guys, so we got this. We're gonna do this, let's start. So we got all the shades, we got all the things. We're gonna do a look and we'll see how, see how I like it. Let's hope that this was a good purchase. I'm pretty sure it was. Every time I've purchased something from Jeffree Star, it's been a great purchase. So let's just see how this one turns out. So I'm just gonna wing it and see where it ends up. Also, I'm not gonna really explain what I'm doing either. I'm just gonna have fun with it and see where it goes. And ready? liking the celebrity skin shade. Oh my god, <clears throat> I feel like I haven't talked for like way too long. Okay, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my face right here. Just a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so let's ch let's talk a little bit. So it was a really interesting thing getting this palette. What ends up happening is I already told myself I'm getting this palette no matter what happens. I'm getting this palette. I have the money. I can do it, and I really really want it because it's beautiful and it's interesting and it's different from everything else that I have. So I needed it, right? And I was like, no matter what, I'm getting this. And what ended up happening was I ended up having like you know slight financial crisis, and I call it slight because I know it could have been way worse than it turned out. I was out at a friend's art show downtown. What ended up happening was, we didn't know, but we parked in a towing trap. I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced that, but it totally sucked and it was the worst thing ever, at least for me. I know it could, like, and the thing is for me, it could have been a whole lot worse. Like so much worse could have happened that night that I'm satisfied with the way that things turned out. Um, but yeah, I ended up having a pretty crazy financial, you know, crazy moment right then and there. And that was the Thursday, two Thursdays before the Saturday release, two weeks before, let's say two weeks before, two weeks before the blue blood palette was going to drop. I ended up having this situation. And I was like, Oh my God. And I'm not gonna be able to get it. And I was freaking out. And then I was like, no, it's okay. I'll get it anyway even if I really have to sacrifice in other places I'd rather sacrifice in other places than not have this thing so that's why it's so surreal that this thing is actually here I can't I can't believe it's still you know it still turned out okay anyway so next thing I'm gonna use I'm gonna use mint tea right now I'm just using a big fluffy brush oh Jesus Christ back to the story it was such a crazy moment like and now I'm already like I'm so over it like it's hard for me even to tell the story the way that I had been telling it like because I told it a couple times and then eventually I just got over telling the story I was like meh just I don't I don't care anymore it, it happened $370 down the drain because of some some asshole company that decided to start scamming people out of their money okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my crease I'm using blue blood for the crease shade right there blue blood they work really well here we go Next, I'm gonna use. Ow! I don't know what to use. It's so hard. It's so, they're all the things. Like, it's just, it's so difficult because they're all the things. Like, you know what I mean? When everything is everything, it's really difficult to choose. Uh, okay, let's go with. Mm, let's go with power. This is power. I'm gonna do a little something different with it. I'm gonna use this little fluffy packed brush. I'll try to get. This look, by the way, is probably not going to be a wearable moment. It's going to be something just for fun because I haven't even gotten to do any makeup for like quite some time already. So I am just playing. I'm having a good time. You know what I mean? And this is this is what happens when I just play around. So we'll just see where we end up. Okay, so the same brush. I'm going to use... Blue Monday. I hate to break up that little cloud. He's so cute. Sorry, buddy. You're going on my face. Okay, now I'm gonna take Flourishing, which is this one, on a big little fluffy brush guy. Just load that up. You know what, I'm also gonna take this onto the nose because I've been really liking doing like a little baby animal nose moment. Don't ask me why, but for some reason I really enjoy it, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. So I think I'm gonna make that my little nose cover. So there's my nose. <laughs> I know it looks weird, but I just really like the way that it looks and I've been doing it for a while. So I'm gonna keep it. I like it. It's cute. 
Anyways, moving on. So let's get out of here. Get out of here. I'm actually gonna do a little entitled. I like how I'm just jumping around my face like always. Entitled. Bump that right on my nose as well. Because I like a shiny nose. Anyways, okay, so next let's do, I think I'm gonna do ice tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger for that. Ice tray, which is this wonderful, kind of like a light blue, kind of periwinkle moment. Let's do it like this. That's a lot. Okay, so let's just do that. No lid. That's pretty. OMG. Holy crap. That is intenso, honey. Wow. I love that. I can't. That's incredible. Jesus Christmas. Wow. That literally like just that shade is is like beautiful enough to buy the palette. I swear to God. And it's funny because this is not sponsored, by the way. It never is. Nothing is. I'm not that lucky yet. But this is Wow. I'm gonna jump to lips because I feel like my face needs lips, so I'm gonna go get them. Unfortunately, I did not get the uh, Blue Blood mini whatchamacallums, so I'm gonna have to use a another brand for this, which I don't think is really the end of the world. I'm gonna use Sugar Pills Kiki, the Little Twin Stars collaboration, just as a base, and then I'm gonna throw... I think we'll throw on... we'll throw on Ocean Ice for Deceased. I think we're gonna do Ocean Ice just because it's got more glitter. Ocean ice with my finger. That's a lot of glitter. Oof. I'm just gonna do the middle because I feel like it. That's what I feel right now, and it's gonna be that today. Okay, and then I guess we'll do the top with deceased. God, that blue stuck, dude. Blue stuck on me hard, dude. That's cray cray. Okay, next one. Deceased. And it's funny enough, I feel like Deceased looks like really similar to like, what do you call it? The receptionist from <whistles> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice a little bit. It reminds me of it. Don't ask me why. I guess because Handbook for the Recently Deceased. Handbook for the Recently Diseased. Deceased. <laughs> So in case y'all are wondering what happened to my fingers, I'll go ahead and tell you the story now. So what happens is I decided that I don't want to bother with painting my nails, polishing my nails kind of thing. And I decided that instead of doing that, I'm gonna dye them because it'll be easier and more convenient and I won't have to worry about like anything that you normally have to worry about, which in my case is worrying about like chipping and having to redo them and all this other stuff. And then also the fact that I am so hands-on with things that like as soon as I think that they're dry, I start doing things again because I hate sitting down not being able to do things, it sucks. And so as soon as I think that they're dry, I'm like, they're dry and I go and do something and I will nick it and I'll have these ugly nicks in my nails for the rest of the time until I do it again and I'm over here like ah it, it just it drives me insane so I decided I'd rather it look like this to me this looks cool and I'm down for it I just got some regular hair dye I figured if it's safe for hair and if it's safe for skin then it's got to be safe for nails right and that's what I started doing and now I'm gonna do that and there's nothing nobody can do about it I also kind of looked it up and made sure that it was okay I did a kind of a spot test on my thumb before I did anything else and so that was the way that my nails got done also I have a little bit of staining on my hands but just very little and the reason for the staining on my hands is a whole nother situation okay that's good for now we'll keep on going so the way that I ended up staining my hands was <laughs> so I had the dye on my fingernails right when I had them on my nails I was wearing pastel purple jeans I went outside and I was hanging out with Rancid and his friend we were all talking having a good time and what happens is <laughs> I uh, ended up getting some on my jeans and I was like no I was super pissed off I was like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and then one of his friends says why don't you just get more of that dye and like tie dye them and I was like challenge accepted so I went and did it I got the dye on my hands no gloves just got the dye on my hands squished it into my hands rubbed them together and just started splotching it all over the jeans in the bathtub with some like castile soap and, and warm water and I let them sit in there with the big splotches on them for I don't know maybe 30 minutes or an hour or something and then I went back and I rinsed them out and I dried them it took a couple of days to get them dry so it was pretty crazy so now I have new pants oh my god this white is so pretty oh boy
come through honey i think this is gonna be my new eye highlighter shade this is super pretty this is pelanin right here oh my gosh gorgeous gorgeous i love it super pretty oh, the brow shade oh. i'm gonna do this for my nose too I'm gonna use this little guy. This is my favorite brush for this. This is my one thing that I do that's kind of weird. This is the way that I do my my inner corner shade. I do it really, really long and wide and out there. You don't need to do this. Remember I told you earlier, I'm just playing around to see how I like these shades. And it turns out I like them a whole lot. This thing is so stupid. This is nuts. So I'm gonna try to find some darker blues now and really try to get into the corners a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Undertaker, which is a really dark navy blue with a gray undertone. It's so gray gray. I'm gonna go in the outer corner. take a line brush for funsies. I even have one in my hand right now. What's going on here? There it is. Okay. Take ocean ice again and a liner brush. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Too much. Where is it? I'm not sure now. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go over that with Pelanin. I'm gonna go over that with Pelanin. Make it a real nice white, cray cray looking situation. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. So apparently at some point this stupid camera stopped filming. I did not know. I am super pissed and so on. But it's okay and uh, it's it's almost like a sign. Maybe this video needed to be as short as possible so some things needed to be cut out. I don't know if y'all got to see me do my ears or not, but I did my ears, did some lips, did some continuity from the nose to the ears. That's pretty much what we did. So I used also different colors from the palette to do blush, highlight, contour, all the things. And what I like to do with Jeffree's palettes all the time is I like to try to find ways to to use as many shades as possible in as many ways as possible as you can see this is a very crazy fantasy look right now I know this is absolutely not wearable to work I'll do another like an actual tutorial maybe for a wearable look to work kind of moment I'm sure it's a little bit more difficult to do with blues and a lot of people are kind of intimidated by doing that but I think this is so much fun I really enjoyed trying to get all these colors on my face and it was great to really try to use as many of them as possible they blend perfect they work so well I can't even believe how well they work once again as always I'm super glad that I purchased this and I'm gonna try to do something really interesting with this palette and the blood sugar palette very very soon hopefully I'll get to do that within the next week or so so y'all might see that next month <laughs> anyways but I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching I really enjoyed having this time with you guys if you liked this video and if you like content like this if you like makeup like this go check out my Instagram and please give us a follow also if you want to like the video share the video please subscribe become a member of the little misfit monster fam and let's just hang out dude anyways i'm gonna go i will see you on the next one don't forget to check me out on instagram snapchat twitter and twitch.tv on monday tuesday wednesdays and saturdays hopefully saturdays we've been having some issues i have been having some issues actually um getting on on the weekends friday through sunday like oh my gosh because i've just had so much going on but it's all for the best and it's all wonderful things and i hope that you guys can understand that I'm not always on because honestly I'm just outliving my life. Anyways guys, once again I love you so much. I hope you never change who you are. Always follow your dreams. Please follow your dreams from now on.
if you aren't already. I hope you have a great day and or night wherever you are. And God bless you always. I will see you on the next one. See you later. Okay, bye!